Hey, what's up everybody? It's TJ with Sanctified Homes and Construction. And as promised, I am bringing you more detailed information about the 2021 IECC building codes that came out. Now, you have to understand we're in Wisconsin. The IECC is not adopted everywhere, but that is where we're trying to push everything to. I'm sorry, that's where they, meaning people that are worried about energy conservation, stuff like that, are trying to push the codes to. Wisconsin, and I'm gonna point this out, and we have some things to bring up on the screen so that you can see that, is way behind where we should be. And there's actually a link uh, in this article or below the video to a recent, I think within the last six months where the Wisconsin Senate voted on actually keeping the standards where they're at and not trying to keep up um, with the IECC codes, let alone the codes across the rest of the country that are kind of blowing us away. So I hope you guys listen to this, pay attention. I'm mostly gonna talk about insulation just to give you an idea of how far we're behind. So first thing we have to do is look at this map of the United States. So there's different zones in the US based on where you live, how we put your house assembly together, what the recommended insulation is. So you can see Wisconsin is in building zone six. So, okay, so that's important to note when we bring up these charts. So the first chart we're gonna bring up is gonna specifically talk about your attic insulation. So you can kind of see if we look down, go to climate zone six, look at where it was previously across most of the country based on the IECC codes, and then where the 2021 is for your attic insulation is actually going up to an R value of 60. And if you don't know what an R value is, um, well, we have done a video on that, but that is the resistance to the transfer of thermal heat and your cooling and whatnot. So that is what an R value is. So in your attic, the IECC is saying by 2021 standards, we should have a minimum of R60. Currently in Wisconsin, we actually can get away with an R38. So we're in a pretty cold climate, when you look at this map and we can be, I mean, you're only an R8 away from being half of what they're requiring in other parts of the country currently. Now, it's not always an R38. There's things that have to deal with energy heels and some of that stuff, but that's what we're talking about just for ceilings. The big thing coming out is actually in your walls. So this is the, the diagram of the walls that has come out. So you can see climate zone six, if we go to the 2021 IECC, you can see it says 20 plus five or 13 plus 10. So that's an R20 plus an R5. What that is is an R20 inside your walls plus R5 insulation on the exterior continuously so you avoid any thermal bridging of the cold air, especially in our cold climate. Currently, Wisconsin, guess where we're at? We're at an R19. We are way below anyone else. There's nowhere else that I'm aware of that is even an R19, near an R19 in a cold climate. So the article, if you guys actually check this out, you need to be reaching out to your senators, builders. Some of the stuff in this article that is spelled out, you can see statements made by senators is saying, well, there's social media, so builders should have incentive to do good because people could post about it. Guess what? People rip people off every day and we have social media still. There has to be standards set in our own state that are higher, in my opinion, than where other parts of the country are because we need to do better for our clients. The job of the city inspector, if, if that's the theory, why do we have city inspectors? We should just rely on the builder to do what they want. We have city inspectors because city inspectors, their job is to protect you to go look at the house and make sure your, your builder is building it to a certain standard. So based on this article, this Senator thinks we should just be able to willy nilly, excuse me, do whatever we want. And you hold your builder to that standard. That's not how it works. We need to, as builders actually be pushing for this because you have to believe in your product and what you're putting out so that it lasts a long time. I know that this is supposed to be about a code thing, but this is more than just the code. It should be raising the standard in the industry, which is what we talk about over and over and over again. And if we're not gonna do it personally as builders, I would wish the people that we elect into official positions are looking out for people and making sure that we're building homes safer, making sure we're building them for longevity. 
not going, hey, they could do whatever they want. Look at other parts of the world. Their homes are up for hundreds upon hundreds of years. We're building stuff and if a builder makes it 100 years, we're like, ooh, wow, I can't believe they made it 100 years. We're supposed to be good We're supposed to be good stewards of the resources that we're using. We're supposed to be a fiduciary for the people we're building for to make sure they're getting the best possible product possible. Not putting something together that's gonna fall apart in 10 years and need a complete remodel. I get if people want to do to a lower standard, but they need to understand that code, code in Wisconsin especially, is not living up to what it should be for you and your and your expectations of what people that are supposed to be voting and looking out for us on our behalf. So again, this is just a snippet of the 2021 IECC, um, their code requirements. A lot of places in the country go by that. Wisconsin goes by the Uniform Dwelling Code of Wisconsin. So it's totally different than the IECC. Now, lots of places do that. It doesn't mean that that's bad, but we need to, in Wisconsin, as builders, as homeowners, potential homeowners say, raise the standard, do a better job. Make sure we're testing for air sealing. Make sure we're putting enough insulation. We live in a cold climate. Do you want all your money to go out to heat the outside? Are you being educated on that or are you just being told, here's your insulation package? And that's just the tip of the iceberg, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to understand more, know more, understand what outside insulation looks like, make sure you're reaching out. Make sure you share this video and tell people to watch it. Make sure, shoot, share it with politicians if you know. We want the standard raised not the bare minimum and not the bare minimum it's a joke when i look across the country and what minnesota's standard is just for insulation versus ours it's it's unbelievable to me especially when we have politicians that say wisconsin's progressive well let's get progressive on our building standards and raise the standards in the industry i hope you guys like this video make sure you like share subscribe reach out with any questions in the meantime don't forget to raise your standard we'll talk to you guys soon